Gang, it's um, Monday night. I've got WWE Raw on USA Network, and this is going to be part two of my uh, shave den. Now, it's just a bathroom. It's a single sink. It's a counter. I'm not going to, you see, the shower's back here, a couple towels, the linen closet. Um, it's not fancy, but what I'm going to do is pause here. I've got two uh, Sterilite bins that um, I have uh, my shave soaps and my blades and my other post shave, you know, balms and, uh, and ASs. So I'm going to show you a picture of that, then we're going to come back up and we're going to go through each of the bins and I'll pause in between so you don't have to hear all the rattling around. So one second while I show you the bins, be right there. All right, so these are the two Sterilite bins. You can see a lot of product in there. So now I'm going to bring it back up and we'll start with bin one, which you'll see my hand come in. It's going to be there. <laughs> All right, one second. All right, bin one. It's going to be actually to the bottom of the uh, Sterilite bin with the soaps. I've tried my best to group them by a uh, company, like Soap Commander, Sterling, etc. And sometimes it's a bit of a mismatch. Um, what do you do, right? So, uh, now, if you've seen my first den video from a while back, like uh, Judd the Stud, uh, of a viewer of mine, uh, he mentioned it and he liked my watches. That was a long video. So, let's start with uh, some Tiki. Uh, st steam Bath Factory uh, label from Tiki. This is Wizard's Pipe, Cherry Tobacco, uh, Tranquil Waters, which I just shaved with recently, which is just a... Uh, I don't know. I, I Look it up. It's, I love the scent. It's just really nice. I also got a Kilted Tiki, which is supposed to be kind of the peat. It's not really the smoky peat, but kind of the peat before maybe while well, scotch is being made, so it's be reminiscent. Um, see, I've got sterling in here. I've got tea tree, electric sheep, which is the citronella and lemon, and sharp dressed man. I actually uh, will show, I have a, I have another sterling, as you know. Um, see, you got some barrister man, lavender, which I got in a box of uh, stuff. 42. And then the Glissant, newer version of Seville. I've got a couple Stubble Troubles. I've got Up and Atom, the non-mentholated. I kind of wish I had the one with the Whisper of Cool. Um, and then uh, this is the uh, Up and Atom, what's his coffee. And then this is the Captain's Log, which was made for the Wet Shavers, uh, the uh, Space City Wet Shavers meetup by uh, Adam Lindbergh and Douglas Smythe made the accompanying uh, aftershave. Got, oh, and then I've uh, got Lava, Lavender also, which I've saved with recently from Barrister Man. Uh, Ginger's Gardens. I uh, got these from my buddy Connor. This is Old Dominion, which is a tallow. This is supposed to be a cologne scent. And then uh, Enigma, which is a vegan soap. I bought these off him, um, used. Uh, shaving, uh, the Shaving Shop. Again, another Ginger's Garden. This is the Springtime in Paris. The Fougere, which I shaved with recently. Got a beautiful shave. Tallow soap. Irina's Tallow Soaps are excellent. I also have Shaving Shop's Freud Blue, which is a uh, Floyd Blue uh, scent. Again, Ginger's Gardens Tallow. Leather Cowboy, uh, my favorite, which I still don't get the turkey like J Justin DeLeon <laughs> describes, but it smells like a like a le nice leather shoe. Uh, another tallow soap. I really like this one, especially winter, really nice. Cold weather, good soap. Uh, in that box uh, stuff I got, I also got uh, the... French Lavender from Ginger's Gardens. I have not shaved with this yet. I'm going to try it soon, see how it does. I didn't think I had a lavender soap. I forgot about this. Then I've got uh, two Reef Point soaps. I've got Dragon's Blood, which is patchouli and blood orange. And then I have Intrepid, which is the Brute scent. The thing about the this one, a lot of soap in this one. This was a the higher volume of the two, uh, six ounces versus the four ounces, which are a lot of the others. This one's discontinued. I got it on a closeout deal. Uh, Cold River uh, Soap Works. The Oliva, which is the olive oil uh, base. So it's the uh, vegan. And this is the Colonia Mediterranea, which is like a aqua de jo. It's really lovely. And then uh, the Select. And this is the um, tallow and lanolin, uh, cocoa and shea. And this is their citrus. Mostly towards a lemon scent. And then I've got two Mickey Lee Soapworks, the Kraken, which is their um, aquatic barber shop, which really nice soap, and Drunken Goat, which is kind of a 
almond cherry baked good. Lovely scent. Great soap. I need to use it some more. So I'm going to pause here, pack that up, and we'll go to drawer two. We're back. Drawer two, brace yourself. Winter is coming. And what I mean by that is the onslaught of three companies and, well, and, well, four technically. Uh, here we go. Soap Command and Courage. Uh, thank you, David uh, Munoz, again. He sent this to me. Lovely scent. This is uh, Courage's Peppercorn, Citrus, and Cedar. I'll say it again. Everything Soap Commander scent-wise is so well blended that I, I'm always leery of cedar. And this is just beautiful. And it does so well. Uh, Vision, my personal favorite. Aqua, Amber, and Mint. Passion, which is a uh, teakwood and cardamom. I think it's more like a modern Old Spice. It goes very well with Old Spice if you want to wear that for an aftershave. Honor, barbershop scent. Just a lovely, powdery, clean scent. Inspiration. Uh, I think this is discontinued. Uh, Japanese uh, yuzu, which is a grapefruit scent. Light, clean, citrusy. Very A great summer scent, in my opinion. Um, there's one that's in another bin, which we'll get to, but... Here's their a limited edition Serenity Crackling Birch, which is a three ounce option versus uh, the six ounce tubs. But this one, I, I've said it in my review, review video, uh, like it's a, it smells like walking into a Pier One in the winter time, like Christmas to holidays. It's just an amazing combination of scents. It's definitely holiday spirit. It, it's this screams Christmas so much to me. It's it's a beautiful scent. All right. Um, Let's go into uh, my stash of PAA. Uh, got this Bay City uh, Wet Shavers Meetup. This is a speakeasy. I don't know which version. Maybe the 2.0 or the 2.5. I don't know. Maybe an early 3. I don't know. Uh, nice cologne scent. I liked it a lot when I got the aftershave sample. Then uh, Brett... Uh, it's Brett Walls. <laughs> I met him at the meetup and got the aftershave with it, which you'll see in another video. Um... High Jump 47, which I bought used from a fellow Texan. Cedar Fever, which Douglas put on sale after the Shave by Shave West in Austin last uh, last March. And I'm hoping they may do one again before going to um, a Big Shave West 3. This is Texas Cedar, Yellow Rose, and Sweet Grass. Yellow Rose is the primary note that I get. It's powdery clean. It's kind of would be an old school man's maybe a f kind of reminiscent of some French floral colognes. Uh, Cad, of course, his uh, primary barbershop scent. Lovely. <laughs> um, the Beach. Club Guy. Soap I have not used. Uh, collector's item, I guess. Rob Frank um, soap. And then I got the fragrance free Crown King. You know, of course, it's their high cocoa butter formulation. So it's a couple of the ingredients, there's more percentages and less there and moved around. So that's, that's my uh, PAA collection. We'll put those in. And then the next of the bad, the bad boys in line. My Razor Rock. A lot of Razor Rock. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, we'll start here. 1X. I'm going to dig around a little. That's excuse me. Uh, okay, where are you at the bottom here? 2X. Which is a... Uh, I want to say it's a vegan. This is the... Uh, oh, what's the... Argan, argan oil. Uh, yeah, argan oil uh, soap formula. I love this scent. This is like... This is like springtime evening to me. Triple X regular. And then the triple X uh, Duro formula. Which I poked fingers in it. That's the only reason it has indentations. Just to see what's different. Spongy. It's a little spongier. Uh, let's see. Mutterfucker is my first soap. Uh, that wasn't like artist shaving. This is the first one I bought. In grooming Lounge. And also my first Razor Rock soap. Uh, I got Emperor, which is the Creed Aventus scent, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the Classic, which is... 
kind of your marzipan, cherry almonds. Which is funny because I got P160 and and classic, and uh, they don't make sense to me. Uh, Stallion, which is their oud scent made for Anthony Esposito. Strong. <laughs> if you like oud, get the Stallion. Straight up oud, unadulterated. Z Pep, green tobacco, Z Pepino. So I've taken this one. I like it a lot. I like the dry down on the aftershave. Uh, here's the P160. Which is very similar to the classic, so um, can't go wrong with either one. And then their American Barbershop, which is supposed to be closer to the Yves Saint Laurent Pour Homme, I believe it's Pour Homme, uh, scent. Uh, claim, they claim it's a little closer than, well, they don't outright say it, but they're implying it's closer than Douglas's. They're close to me. Douglas is stronger, that's for sure. And then a couple fine soaps, Platinum, which is of course Creative Ventus, and Lange Noir, which is uh, Hermes, uh, Terra de Hermes. So pause here, pack these, and come back for uh, drawer three. All right, this is where it gets a little bit of a mix up, but uh, bear with me. Some are samples, some are others. I just didn't have space in the drawers, uh, so I've kind of shared. So we'll kind of mix it around here. Uh, Probably one of my top three soaps, Sterling Black Ice, uh, Mentholated uh, Anise Licorice. Two, uh, actually three Katie's Bubbles in here. My first Katie's Bubbles. La Terre Verte. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it, like, so Bailey bust me on it. <laughs> yeah, because I can't even pronounce LTV. Uh, Rosé du Matin and the tonsorial parlor these are the two new luxury harder formulas and this is the softer formula for the ltv uh, another soap commander i got for the uh, seasonal shape crew i signed up for the influence which is tobacco cherry and black tea so uh, pipe tobacco let's see now we're going to get into a lot of one-offs well i got a couple i can pair here um k shave works limelight and shave your mug, which is root beer. Very nice root beer scent. Now we get into uh, where things get a little interesting. So let's just dive in. Uh, shaving Shop, the club, Tobacco Nuit. Uh, I actually split the set uh, since uh, I wanted to kind of return the favor for David Munoz. I sent him, he loves oud, so I sent him the Tobacco Oud Soap and AS along with a couple things we had talked about. Um, new messenger trying a couple things I had spares of so he's got that uh, it's my black eye sample which I need to use up this one in here this is the this is the uh, Sterling Noir so this is um, Sterling Noir is like uh, Drakkar Noir the sample puck this one I believe yes Hasslinger Sheep's Milk this is a beautiful soap get it. Stallion, thank you for bringing this up every so often. I was able to finally find it. If you haven't used this, I know a lot of you have, but if you haven't, you got to get this. This is the Shaft Milch Razor uh, Sif. I don't know. I don't do German, but uh, that is definitely sheep's milk. That's what you look for. That I can tell that sheep's milk, and that's uh, shave soap. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. I know what it says. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Right. Obsessive uh, Soap Perfectionist from England Barbershop. Uh, this one has a cedar note as part of it. Uh, cedar's not my, my favorite scent in terms of soaps, but this soap performs top notch. So it, it dies down. It's just, I guess I when I smelled Hex originally, Dr. John's Hex, oh God, pepper and cedar and uh, Mike's Natural Soap. I got recently also. Barbershop. Smells uh, a little bit, oh, pretty close to Soap Commander's Honor. Great performing soap. It's, if you wanted the same scent and you wanted tallow, you get Mike's. Uh, if you want one vegan and one tallow, go Soap Commander Honor, Mike's Barbershop. Scent profiles to me spot on. Through the Fire Fine Craft for Flint. This was, uh, this is definitely cropey. See, very easy. This was for the to help um, with other Michigan artisans, help raise uh, funds to help the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. 
This is a great, clean, like fresh linen to me, smelling soap. I couldn't tell you the scent profile, not for me to do. Um, but whatever it equates to, it smells like fresh linen and it's slick and it shaves beautifully. Uh, let's see. Um, one I haven't used much, I used one so far. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vanule Brisk Waters Aquarius. I used the Brisk Water scent because uh, I wanted a Davidon Cool Water scent. So this is it here. I think it's a bit more melt and pour style. But it's a good shaving soap. I need to break it out for a video shave now that I'm doing that. I haven't used it since I got it. I used it once. Uh, today I shaved with uh, Bear, um, Phoenix and Bow Spitfire Leather uh, Tobacco Juniper. My best face feel post shave soap. I love this. Uh, scent, uh, you know, I'm torn on the scent, but I I like that it's Spitfire. I like the artwork, the soap quality. I mean, if, if I could put my whatever my favorite scent would be in this formula soap, oh yeah, I'd be all right. Uh, let's see another shaving shop soap. This is uh, via um, Soap Smooth uh, Barbershop Poivre Rose. So it's a barbershop pink and pink peppercorn. A great wake you up scent. The peppercorn comes through. Uh, great soap formula. L and L uh, grooming out of Georgia. Trismegistus. Megistus. I can't. Trismegistus. I know it's a, a but it's uh, Terra Mez uh, scented soap with buffalo or bison talon. Uh, and so talking with. Uh, Talking with the, the owner there, um, he, he we both have history degrees, and so he reached into his uh, uh, his uh, language and history to name this soap because it was Hermes base of Hermes, and then uh, go it crosses over Egyptian to uh, Tote. So that was pretty cool. If you saw my video, I tried to do a little explanation, didn't do the best job, but you got the internet. Look it up. All right. Okay. Now some randoms. Well, not yet. Uh, let's start with uh, things I didn't get in the box. Oh yeah, one other sample before I do that. This is Margaritas in the Arctic by, um, by of course, uh, Sterling. Amazing scent. It's a mentholated lime. It's pretty close to a margarita in a lot of senses. Ginger Gardens Arctic Mud. Uh, great soft soap. Uh, mentholated mint. Uh, beautiful, beautiful soap. Another one, you put the cold water on your face with the shave and it just explodes in terms of face feel. Uh, one, I run with the, if you saw my hardware video, the bowl, the purple bowl. This is Dr. Mike's Old Fashioned Cocktail. It's like a melt and pour, maybe a glycerin style. But it smells like an old fashioned. Like if you drink old fashions and you uh, get the orange rind, they, you know, they spritz and then rub on the rim of the glass, that's what you get here. I've shaved with it once and it's a good soap. It's a nice performing soap, no qualms. It's not super face feely, but slick. Gives you a good shave. Okay, uh, this is Wet Shave Obsession, and this is Bevel, and this one is a towel formula. Uh, I sort of traded this, or the, it was sort of payback for knocking over something and breaking something at the Wet Shave Meetup. I have not used this yet, but the gentleman I talked to said he really liked this. He just had the other stuff, and uh, the towel soap, but he says really super slick and. I'm thinking maybe my next straight razor shave, I break this out. Here's the here's the label. So, and then um, let's see. This I don't know what soap it is. I can't even tell you the scent. Uh, came in a bowl. I got it in that box again. It was part of the uh, the Cyber fundraiser. Uh, this one is. I want to say maybe like Norwegian. Uh, I've seen somebody else shave with this, and it's a great soap. I've used it. It's meat. It's medium firm. Just a clean scent. Um, I guess it'd be kind of a barber shop. I guess maybe that's a that could be barber shop scent. Uh, I don't know if it's Norwegian or Finnish or what. Um, and then some discontinued ones, uh, Cold River, uh, Columbia River by Tim Soaps. Tim is at Austin, never met Tim. Man, this smells like pine, fir, Christmas tree. <laughs> but it's hard puck. 
Uh, it's been used, but it's pretty firmed up now, so it's probably a little bit old. It came pretty much this way when I got it last year, um, or early uh, 2016. I just never used it, but I need to try it, because everyone says Tim's is so great. Okay, uh, let's see. Country Club Shave uh, Soap Blend Number 5, which is a lanolin shea butter, 6-ounce soap. This is a used one. I think it's probably another barbershop style scent. Uh, I don't. I read. I looked up something about it, but I don't remember. But it's a nice performing soap. And I've got a Strop Shop soap. I don't know if it's Vivas or, but it's tallow and lanolin, and it's either. I don't get much of a scent off it. It could be barbershop. Uh, I'll have to use it. But anyway. Uh, that's it. Uh, just some randomness in here with a lot of other stuff. Um, I have, if you want more soap, I have samples in a box here. Uh, maybe I'll do like a, I'll do a fourth video in a couple days and I'll just break out the sample boxes and show you random shit I picked up. But with that, uh, we cut it off here. Thanks for watching again. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, we'll be looking for the, uh, we'll do bombs and aftershaves. And I don't need to give you a tour because toilet's there, shower's there, my counter's here. This is my fat face. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.